Hi, welcome to Nuance Tone Tutorials and the Twisted Wave 101 videos. In this getting started video, we are going to talk about Twisted Wave, what type of editor it is, we'll go to the website, check out the cost, some of the other options, and finally we'll download and install the program. First, let's talk about Twisted Wave and see what it is. Twisted Wave is an audio editor. It's available at twistedwave.com. It's $80, and you can download a free 30-day trial to try out, in which case after 30 days it'll ask you to pay and register the program. It is a Mac-only program. It is updated pretty frequently, and there are two versions available. One for OS X, which is more powerful than the one that we're going to be talking about in these videos, and one for iOS, Mac's portable operating system on the iPhone and the iPad. Twisted Wave is a DAW, a digital audio workstation, as is Pro Tools, Audition, Reaper, Audacity, SoundForge, and many others. It is a single track DAW, and when I mean single track, what I mean is it is very fast and efficient. It's a very large track for recording. There's collapsible editing, meaning as you delete things, time and sort of space shrink down, leaving you with what you want. You have a larger track view, streamline editing options, usually a few buttons up in the top left to hit. No metadata, session docs, or organizational structure. Um, it is inherently audio in and audio out. You open the program with audio and you save audio out. You have markers that you can drop. You're limited in your mixing options as you can't bring in any music or sound effects below the audio. Generally, there's no automation in these types of editors. Processing is offline, although part of it is in real time that you can play back. You can't affect or tweak knobs in real time and hear the effect of most of the plugins. These single track editors are often cheaper, whereas Pro Tools is somewhere between 150 for Express and 700 for the full version, Adobe Audition being $20 for the Creative Cloud option at what was $350 before. $80 is substantially less than that. Um, and generally with a single track editor you get an auto crossfade at zero crossings which means when you're editing and you're cutting audio the audio will crossfade itself at each crossing meaning that you won't have ticks and pops after you edit. Some final notes about Twisted Wave before we go and download it is that um, like I said before it's an audio in audio out mostly with a no metadata type of program. It will not work with video. It is not multi-track however it is very fast and efficient and there is a parity between the desktop and the mobile solutions. You use one, you're pretty comfortable with the other. So with that, let's go ahead and go to our browser and open up and go to twistedwave.com and check out some of the options. We have a Mac version which we're going to download today, an iPhone or iPad version which you would buy at the App Store on your iOS device for $9.99, and finally, an online version that does work in different browsers, um, although it is the same interface that you would be using in the program, some of the options have been curtailed because of the processing. So things like batches, plugins, and that kind of stuff. But for very quick on-the-go recording, it's a great system. Let's go ahead and click the Mac version, which brings us to the information page, where we can try now, or we can buy now. The program is $79.90, and like I said, you can buy it after 30 days. There is a compatibility version uh, for Tiger um, and also Leopard as well, 10.5. So if you have those versions of Mac, you need to download this earlier version. Um, but for most of us which um, are at Snow Leopard and above, 10.6 all the way up to 10 point now with Mavericks, you should be able to download the newest version. So I'm going to hit Try Now. It will ask me to download or save the DMG file. You can see Firefox has this progress bar up here. I'm actually going to quit this out and quit Firefox. I have the program already downloaded. I'm going to open a new finder window and go into downloads and here is my Twisted Wave. I will double click it, go through the EULA page, open it up, and I already have the program installed however I'm going to show you how to do this. I would just drag Twisted Wave across to my applications folder and let it go. I do already have this installed, so what I am going to do is actually go into my Applications window, find Twisted Wave, and pull it out and drag it onto my dock. We'll open it up for the first time.
And there we go. Twisted Wave is installed. We can maximize the program window here. And in the next few videos, we'll go through the interface, some of the preferences and options, and finally get into recording as well. Thanks so much for joining. We look forward to seeing you in some new videos.